Welcome back to the Hydrogen Studies Podcast, where we decode the research behind molecular hydrogen and what it can do for your health. Today's topic is one that touches millions of lives, substance abuse. Whether it's alcohol, amphetamines, or opioids, the damage of these substances goes far beyond behavior. Addiction rewires your brain, inflames your body, damages your organs, and it's notoriously hard to reverse. But molecular hydrogen may offer a powerful tool in this fight. In today's episode, we'll unpack how hydrogen water and hydrogen gas are being studied as potential treatments for alcohol-induced liver damage and hangovers, methamphetamine-induced brain toxicity, opioid withdrawal tolerance, and gut dysbiosis. This is the Hydrogen Studies Podcast, sponsored by Echo Water. Let's start with alcohol. When it comes to alcohol addiction, many people think the problem is purely psychological, but modern neuroscience shows otherwise. A 2023 review titled The Disease Model of Addiction explains how genetic differences in oxidative stress and inflammation pathways may make some people more vulnerable to alcohol dependence and mental health comorbidities. In other words, your brain and liver aren't just reacting to alcohol, they're inflamed by it. Hydrogen steps in by doing two things. Neutralizing harmful free radicals like hydroxyl radicals and peroxynitrite, nitrite, and reducing inflammatory signaling, both systemically and in the brain. Let's look at what that actually means in the lab and in real life. Alcohol-induced liver injury is one of the most dangerous and common consequences of chronic or binge drinking. It often starts with steatosis or fatty liver, then progresses to hepatitis, fibrosis, and if unchecked, cirrhosis or liver failure. One of the most promising recent studies on hydrogen's impact here comes from researchers who looked at how hydrogen gas inhalation affected acute alcoholic liver injury in mice. The setup was simple. Mice were given a high dose of alcohol to induce liver damage, mimicking a binge drinking scenario. Some were then exposed to hydrogen gas for a few hours. The results were clear. Hydrogen inhalation alleviated liver injury and steatosis. Hydrogen-treated mice showed improved liver weight and appearance compared to the alcohol-only group. Oxidative stress and inflammation were reduced in the liver, helping protect against alcohol-induced damage. But here's what makes this study unique. The researchers also looked at the intestinal microbiota, because alcohol isn't just toxic to the liver, it disrupts the gut-liver axis by damaging the intestinal lining, allowing endotoxins and bacteria to leak into the bloodstream. After inhaling hydrogen gas, Gut microbiota composition improved. Hydrogen inhalation increased the abundance of beneficial bacteria such as Lactobacillus and Clostridia, while reducing Prevotilaceae and Meribaculaceae. Intestinal barrier integrity was enhanced, reducing the likelihood of endotoxin leakage and downstream liver inflammation. In other words, hydrogen didn't just protect the liver, it worked upstream, stabilizing the gut and preventing the chain reaction that leads from alcohol intake to liver inflammation and microbiome collapse. From a clinical perspective, this means hydrogen therapy could offer dual protection, supporting liver cells directly and restoring gut balance that's often decimated by alcohol. It's a whole system approach to a whole body problem, and it's one of the clearest signals yet that hydrogen belongs in the conversation about liver recovery. Now a quick word from our sponsor. Your body is a system, and when it's running right, you feel focused, energized, in flow. But sometimes we struggle to find that flow state. Why? Because there's too much static in our system. Brain fog, fatigue, and inflammation. The Echo Flask clears the static by infusing your water with molecular hydrogen, a natural, science-backed gas that helps your body think sharper, recover faster, and run smoother. This is more than hydration. It's better focus, more energy, faster recovery, less internal stress, and long-term benefits that keep you sharp. When your water works harder, your whole system does too. Find your flow state with the Echo Flask Hydrogen Water Bottle and get an unlimited supply of hydrogen water at home and on the go. Visit echowater.com and use code H2Studies to get 10% off of your first order with Echo Hydrogen Water products. Fatty liver disease is one of the earliest warning signs of alcohol-related damage. When your liver starts accumulating fat, especially after repeated alcohol exposure, it signals a breakdown in the body's ability to process toxins, fats, and inflammation. 
In a 2017 study, researchers set out to see whether hydrogen-rich water could prevent or reverse this condition in mice exposed to alcohol. Mice were given ethanol repeatedly, which led to textbook signs of hepatic steatosis, fat accumulation in liver tissue. But in the group that received daily hydrogen-rich water, the results were significantly different. Here's what they found. Liver tissue looked radically better under the microscope in the control or ethanol-only group. Liver cells were swollen with fat droplets. In the hydrogen group, fat accumulation was markedly reduced. Blood levels of ALT and AST, liver enzymes that indicate damage, were much lower in the hydrogen group, suggesting less hepatocellular injury. Oxidative stress markers, including melondialdehyde, were also reduced. Meanwhile, levels of antioxidant enzymes like superoxide dismutase and glutathione peroxidase were restored. These shifts are critical. Why? Because ethanol metabolism overwhelms the liver's natural antioxidant defenses, particularly by depleting NAD+, and producing harmful byproducts like acetaldehyde and reactive oxygen species, or ROS. Hydrogen appears to offset that oxidative overload, rebalancing the redox environment in liver tissue. And it didn't stop at antioxidants. The hydrogen-rich water also lowered the expression of pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as TNFA and IL-6, which are elevated in alcoholic steatohepatitis and contribute to disease progression. So what does this mean in plain terms? Drinking hydrogen-rich water not only prevented liver fat buildup, a key feature of early-stage alcoholic liver disease, it also protected the liver's antioxidant defenses, reduced inflammation, and kept cellular damage under control. And in the context of long-term alcohol use, hydrogen may represent a new way to interrupt the progression from fatty liver to fibrosis and ultimately cirrhosis. We've talked about long-term liver protection, but what about the immediate aftermath of alcohol? Hangovers may seem trivial, but they're actually the visible tip of a deeper problem. Acute oxidative stress, inflammation, and dehydration triggered by ethanol metabolism. These effects strain the liver, irritate the brain, and disrupt gut function, even after a single night of drinking. So the question is, can hydrogen help the body recover faster? Two studies, one in animals and one in humans, give us a very clear answer. In a 2009 study, researchers gave sprog doli rats a high dose of ethanol and then treated them with electrolyzed reduced water, or ERW, a form of water infused with dissolved molecular hydrogen. The results were striking. Blood alcohol concentration dropped significantly faster in the ERW group, meaning the hydrogen-treated rats cleared ethanol from their systems more efficiently. Liver damage markers like ALT and AST were much lower in hydrogen-treated animals. ERW significantly boosted the activity of alcohol dehydrogenase and acetaldehyde dehydrogenase in the, in the liver, enhancing ethanol breakdown and detoxification. And ERW activated key antioxidant enzymes. In short, hydrogen water not only sped up alcohol breakdown, it also protected the liver from oxidative shock that usually follows a drinking episode. Fast forward to a 2022 placebo-controlled crossover study in healthy adults. Volunteers consumed alcohol in a controlled setting. Some inhaled hydrogen gas and drank hydrogen-rich water, while others inhaled placebo air and drank regular water. What happened next was subtle, but powerful. People in the hydrogen group reported, reported significantly less fatigue, nausea, and difficulty concentrating the next morning. Hydrogen-treated subjects recovered faster in terms of both mental clarity and energy levels. Breath alcohol concentration was significantly lower in the hydrogen group at 30, 60, and 90 minutes post-drinking, suggesting hydrogen sped up alcohol clearance. Finally, there is no difference in alcohol dose or sleep, suggesting hydrogen, not lifestyle factors, were responsible for improvement. These studies show that molecular hydrogen, whether through hydrogen-rich water or as an inhaled gas, acts fast and targets the real causes of hangovers, oxidative stress, inflammation, and impaired detox pathways. It doesn't block intoxication. It doesn't interfere with liver enzymes. It just helps your body recover more efficiently safely and naturally. In a world filled with gimmicky hangover cures, molecular hydrogen is one of those few options that's actually backed by biology and double-blind placebo-controlled human data. Methamphetamine, better known as meth, is one of the most neurotoxic substances studied in neuroscience. It does more than stimulate, it destroys. 
Repeated use leads to permanent changes in brain chemistry, inflammation in neural tissue, oxidative overload, and massive mitochondrial dysfunction. One of meth's most damaging effects is on spatial memory and cognitive function, especially in the hippocampus, the brain's learning and memory center. A 2019 study explored whether molecular hydrogen could protect the brain against these effects. Here's how they tested it. Researchers exposed mice to repeated doses of methamphetamine to induce memory deficits. Half of the animals received hydrogen-rich water, while the other half received placebo. They were then assessed for behavioral performance behavioral performance, and biological markers of brain damage. The results were both clear and compelling. Mice that drank hydrogen-rich water for seven days after methamphetamine exposure performed significantly better on spatial memory tasks, including the Barnes maze and Morris water maze. Hydrogen lowered the expression of pro-apoptotic proteins and endoplasmic reticulum stress markers. Levels of inflammatory cytokines were significantly decreased in the hippocampus, showing hydrogen's anti-inflammatory effect. Hydrogen treatment markedly reduced neuronal damage in the hippocampus, which is responsible for learning and memory. So what does this mean? Meth increases dopamine to unnatural levels, and that spike triggers massive oxidative stress and excitotoxicity, which literally burns out neurons. Hydrogen appears to intervene in that process, buffering oxidative overload, calming inflammation, and preserving brain func function before irreversible damage is done. What makes this study so significant is that hydrogen didn't need to block meth directly. It simply gave the brain what it needed to defend itself, restoring redox balance, stabilizing mitochondria, and protecting neurons from the fallout. This introduces an entirely new lens on neuroprotection. Instead of just targeting neurotransmitters, hydrogen works at the cellular defense level, where the damage begins. For people in recovery, or for those still struggling with stimulant addiction, this could mean better brain recovery, faster cognitive repair, and reduced risk of long-term neurological deficits. Now we'll turn to one of the most well-documented effects of meth, behavioral sensitization. This is the process by which repeated exposure to a drug leads to progressively stronger behavioral responses like heightened locomotion, compulsive seeking, and craving. It's a key marker of addiction because it reflects how deeply a drug has hijacked the brain's reward system. In a 2020 study, researchers explored whether molecular hydrogen could interrupt this process of sensitization in mice repeatedly exposed to meth. Let's break down what they found. Mice were administered repeated doses of methamphetamine over several days, mimicking a cycle of chronic stimulant abuse. And as expected, the meth-only group developed strong behavioral sensitization, showing hyperactivity and increased drug-seeking behavior. Another group received hydrogen-rich saline injections alongside the meth. The hydrogen-treated mice showed significantly reduced behavioral sensitization. In other words, the response to meth did not escalate the way it normally does. Hydrogen-rich saline decreased meth-induced reactive oxygen species and melondialdehyde in the nucleus accumbens, the brain's primary reward and addiction hub. Finally, molecular analysis showed lower activation of extracellular signal-regulated kinase and FOSB in the nucleus accumbens. This is crucial because ERK and FOSB are key molecular switches in the development of drug dependence. Their activation reinforces compulsive behavior, rewires reward processing, and makes future relapse more likely. Hydrogen's ability to downregulate these addiction pathways means it may help blunt the long-term neuroplastic changes that meth causes, potentially making relapse less likely and recovery more stable. Most treatments for stimulant addiction focus on behavioral therapy, and pharmacological options are limited or non-existent. What this study shows is that hydrogen could be a biological buffer, one that keeps the brain from being pushed deeper into compulsive cycles of use. It doesn't dull dopamine signaling or sedation like some drugs. It works upstream, dampening the oxidative and inflammatory cascades that trigger addiction-related gene expression in the first place. And because it's non-toxic, side effect free, and naturally occurring, hydrogen opens the door to a safer form of neuroprotection, something profoundly needed in stimulant recovery. Now onto one of the most tragic and widespread epidemics, opioid addiction. Opioids like morphine trigger tolerance, withdrawal, gut dysfunction, and chronic inflammation. Hydrogen may help reverse all four. A 2017 study showed that hydrogen-rich saline reduced anxiety-like behaviors in mice going through morphine withdrawal. 
Why? Because hydrogen lowers neuroinflammation, which flares up during opioid detox and drives symptoms like restlessness, panic, and insomnia. Even more powerful, hydrogen may reduce opioid tolerance itself. In a 2021 study, rats given hydrogen-enriched saline needed lower doses of morphine to achieve the same effect. It worked by reducing GLT-1 and GS nitration, blocking NMDA receptor trafficking, and attenuating spinal cord inflammation. This is huge. In short, hydrogen rewired the spinal pathways that usually adapt to morphine. This means patients could possibly stay on lower, safer doses for longer. Finally, addiction doesn't just damage the brain, it wrecks the gut. In a recent mouse and human study, researchers found that opioid use disrupted gut microbiome composition, leading to systemic inflammation and worsened withdrawal symptoms. Hydrogen therapy helped rebalance the gut flora, improved short-chain fatty acid profiles in mice, and alleviated symptoms of depression and anxiety in people with opioid addiction. This is a totally new frontier, using hydrogen to repair gut-brain signaling disrupted by long-term drug abuse. Let's bring this all together. Across alcohol, amphetamines, and opioids, the story is the same. Addiction drives inflammation, oxidative stress, and neurodegeneration. Molecular hydrogen counteracts those forces without toxicity or dependency. Whether it's protecting the liver, calming the brain, or repairing the gut, hydrogen is a multi-pronged tool for a multi-dimensional problem. If you or someone you love is in recovery or struggling, hydrogen therapy could become a foundational support tool not just a supplement. That's it for this episode of Hydrogen Studies. If you found this valuable, please share it. Addiction is real, and so is healing. Until the next episode, stay healthy, stay curious, and we'll catch you then.